I've done this before. This is like one of my favorite spots. Believe it or not, it's a parking lot with porta potties, a garbage can, a bunch of signs, a bunch of tourists. This is a edge of a jungle in Maui. And it's literally the parking lot. The cars are all here. I'm literally like three feet from the car. There's chickens running around. There's tourists going to the bathroom. And most people would look at this and go, no way. I, we we're going to have to hike in where there's no people, where it's quiet. And that's where we're going to take pictures. But I'm going to show you that you can take the weirdest locations and make the most amazing pictures if you have an eye for a good location. So I'm going to use a couple of Godox AD200, just a little portable flashes. The lighting is actually pretty good here. It's pretty soft, pretty diffused in the jungle. And I just need a little bit of soft fill light to fill in the shadows. And uh, it's going to look pretty good. So wait till you see what we can do in a parking lot by a bunch of filth and garbage cans if you have an eye for good photography. So check this out. I have a soft box here just to add a little bit of soft light from the left side. And I have a hair light hidden behind the tree to give her a little bit of an edge light. But other than that, it's pretty much natural light. And there's a lot of roosters and chickens running wild in here. So it's an A A7 III 55 1.8. That's it. Okay, so let's do it. It's like stereo chickens. You're doing great. You're doing great. Okay, here, here we go. Nice. I'm warming up the daylight balance to 6500, so it's going to be a little warmer, which is what I want. So it's not cool green. I like the warm green. Okay, that's good. Perfect, perfect. Right there, good. That's good. Nice. Okay, so now we got her up near a tree here. I moved the uh, softbox higher up and the hair light is back there. And the hair light is like at 1 one twenty eighth. It's like minimum power and it's pretty powerful as it is. And uh, the softbox is at, what's it at? Is at 1 64th power. This is an AD200 in a softbox with a diffuser and it's still pretty darn powerful. So, it, yeah, it's this shooting in a jungle is great. I mean, it's really soft, diffused lighting. It, really nice. Okay. Nice. This looks great, but there's still something missing. Can you tell what it is? Here, let me zoom in. Can you tell? That's right. I need a little bit of light on this side of her face, so I'm going to use another 8200 with a snoot. This needs to aim right at your face. Let me know if it's when it's aiming right at you. Higher? Yeah. Okay. If you're a wee bit lower, Marcus, I'm sorry. Right there? Yeah. All right, so that one is aiming at the shadow side of her face. This is just a test shot. Whoa, that's bright. That's at 1 16th. That's way bright. 1 16th power. I'm going to do it 1 28th. Wow. It looks great. All right. Oh, these are awesome. Nice. These are really good. The last one. Looks great, huh? There's tourists walking around everywhere. It's pretty hilarious. But look at the pictures we can get from this.
So that's a taste of what's possible if you have an eye for good photography. We are literally in a parking lot with porta potties and garbage cans, and it is, it, it's actually on the edge of something very beautiful. So you don't have to hike a long distance. You literally got out of the car, it's three feet from the car, and look what's possible. So I hope this inspires you that you don't have to really go out of your way to take great pictures. You just have to have an eye for a good location. Hope it inspired you. I'll see you in a week. Bye-bye. Bye. There you come here. Jungle girl. Rawr. <laughs> Jungle girls. <laughs> the chickens are all staring at you like, what the hell is that? Oh, they're so cute. All right. So we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>